Firing anywhere between 0.33 and 0.37 seconds after the jump gave me the best accuracy, meaning that you have just 0.04 seconds to make that jump shot. That's not long. That's about 2.4 frames of this video, or less than this, which were three frames. Good news is, it's certainly doable. I wouldn't even bother with weapon debug spread show one, although in these clips it is enabled. I think that this command is more useful though. Try to fire just before reaching the peak of your jump and then check the console and it will tell you what your accurate distance was. A perfect shot with a scoped in scout will be about 17 meters. Less than that will mean that you fired either too soon or too late. Here are some examples of that perfect timing, only not zoomed in, hence why it doesn't look that accurate. Here's 0.33 seconds after the jump. And here's 0.37 seconds. Anywhere between these two will be fine. And if that's too hard, you can always use a bind like I did to get it working every time. Whether you should use binds or not is another question. Personally, they help me a lot when I'm making my videos, so I'd be very upset if Valve removed their functionality completely. But I don't think that using a bind to jump shoot is that overpowered. Yes, you will have an advantage over people without those binds, but you're still in a worse situation than you were before the update without binds. And even then, it wasn't as though standard jump shooting was the problem. It was the bugs from exceptional circumstances that went along with it, which have been fixed. Much like with the revolver, I think the difficult part of jump shooting is planning the shot in advance and then having your crosshair over the enemy when you're ready to fire. You now have very little time to stop, scope, flick and shoot, or however you like to fire your weapons. But there is still a jumping accuracy exploit that I feel is overpowered with binds, and that's grenade throws. Try doing two jumping throws that land in the same place. It's impossible. Yet with binds, it's easy to learn smokes and other tricks that normal players will have no chance of pulling off every time. I even pointed this out a while back and suggested a fix. Right now, how far the grenade will go probably looks something like this over the duration of a jump. Valve could make it look more like this and it would give the average player several stages of jump throws to master, rather than to rely on approximate throws every time. It would really reward players who took the time to plan their assault on an area. Just a thought.